Hi guys. In recent years, lighting technology has improved, in particular the efficiency of the technology has improved, which means that we can get a lot more light intensity into the same space as we did previously. So with HID, for example, um, a 600 watt HPS in a 4x4 or 1.2 by 1.2 meter area was about maxima, maximum you could get in there. And the limiting factor was really uh, limiting factor was really the heat that that system would generate in the tent, both the radiated heat from the bulb on the canopy, but also the system generating heat, um, both from its electrical inefficiency and also lots of light bouncing around and, uh, and warming up the tent. This caused problems and basically people are limited to that wattage of light in that size or volume of space anymore it was just too difficult to get the, to extract the heat out and keep the uh, the environment at the proper temperature leds are significantly more efficient both in terms of reflectance losses and heat losses electrical losses and so we can get a lot more into a grow tent <clears throat> so in that 4x4 the 600 watt hps would generate about 500 micromoles um, average power intensity and what Certainly here at MIGO we're pushing up to, or specifying, uh, pushing the um, average PPFD up to about 750 to 850 micromoles, which is an improvement of sort of 70-80% potential yield from the same area. What we haven't covered really, or certainly I haven't covered so far, or specified so far, is the difference between that operating level for photos that is plants which grow in a flower in a 12, 12 cycle, so 12 hours lights on, 12 hours lights off, and autos, which typically people operate at uh, hours on of about 20 hours on and about four hours off. And to give you a reference point for this, we're first gonna look at um, the, um, what I would recommend in terms of average micromoles and how much watts of light you need for the photo period. And here you can see, that uh, fluorescent and high pressure sodium, relatively low efficiencies, uh, you would need um, 100, uh, about 100 watts per square foot of fluorescent and about 50 watts per square foot of high pressure sodium to get to that 900 micromoles level. And then for older LED technology, about 50 watts per square foot, white LEDs then, or more recent, two, three to four years, within the last three to four years um, our, our current medium efficiency models you know budget models um, would be about 35 watts per square foot and then the higher efficiency models out at the moment typically they've got the you know, sort of samsung chips and and uh, osram reds for higher efficiency you can get down as low as 30 watts per square foot with those models and at 900 uh, micromoles per meter square per second average your daily light integral, that is the total amount of light the plants receive over that light cycle, is 40 moles. And that is calculated by multiplying um, the 900 average, so that's micromoles per meter squared per second, multiplying it by 60 seconds to get to minutes, by 60 minutes to get to hours, by 12 to get your DLI. And that's uh, rounded up, 900 micromoles gets to 40 DLI. To look at that equivalent, and that's, by the way, the, the total amount that the, uh, the plant can really absorb in one day. That's uh, a generality. It can, it, can, it can vary a little bit by strain, but that would typically be the case. And um, there are growers who are pushing it higher than that into a thousand micromoles plus. And uh, the sort of common consensus is in order to utilize that light intensity and get the relative growth when pushing up that high, you really need to have um, to supplement your environment in terms of CO2, um, which helps um, the plant to absorb those higher intensity uh, levels of uh, power. So then in terms of autos, I've got a longer light cycle. So you need less light intensity to reach the same um, amount, quantity of light over the day or the DLI. So with the same DLI uh, of 40, we need about 550 micromoles uh, average power. 
And um, I've converted that view in terms of watts per square feet. So it's significantly less, about two thirds of what you would use in, uh, for photos, which you know, makes sense if you think about it uh, in terms of the hour, hour schedule. So again, for fluorescent, 75 watts per square foot, high pressure sodium, 35 watts per square foot. Same for old LEDs, blurples, etc. Older than four year old LEDs. White LEDs, me medium efficiency, or budget uh, fixtures, uh, 25 watts, and then for high efficiency LEDs, only 20 watts per square foot. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. I put a video out recently, link below, where about uh, grow room conditions, and this topic came up in comments, and I just wanted to address it and uh, give you uh, certainly where I think those levels should be. So. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comment section below and take care.